Jade back with another video. And today we're going to be making our personal own tie-dye shirt. I've never done this before, but I will try it today. I've seen it on Instagram, I've seen it on YouTube, I've seen it online. So I thought, you know, why not in quarantine? Let's just go ahead and make the most of it. Today, I will be using a pan. I will be using a measuring cup. I will be using a bottle. I will be using a water bottle. I will be using some food coloring and I will be using some rubber bands. And of course, I will be using a nice t-shirt, just like that. So to get started, what I'm going to first do, it's really hot in here, you know what? I think I'm gonna change my shirt. I don't wanna lose, because I might mess it up. Okay, so first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure our water. We needed two cups of water. this bottle. Do it over here so it doesn't make such a mess if it does spill. So that's one cup, two cups. The colors I decided to use were green and yellow. So what it said was to do eight drops of the food color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shake it up. Now that seems to be pretty mixed up, we're gonna start dying. You might be wondering why I need the rubber bands. So in some of the videos, I saw that what people do is they take these and they put them like really tight. that and then so the process goes a little quicker i think i'm just gonna snap it onto this one nice do you think about it i never i never got a rubber band for my sleeves um so i think i think it's gonna be fine though so i'm gonna just go ahead go like this and place it in the pan the part that i want to turn yellow I think this is how it goes. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna kind of go over it. So what I'm thinking is gonna happen is now that's green, so now I'm gonna set it right here. And what I'm now going to do is I'm gonna empty this and do the same process only using yellow. So I guess I can just skip to that now. Hmm. Now that I have my yellow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each part, I'm gonna put it in the pan and separately dye it.
I'm gonna squeeze it out. Hopefully it doesn't wash out all the food coloring that much. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys it wet now. Okay guys, so this is the undried product of my project. So I think, uh, I think I did pretty good, but I just wanna see what it looks like dry. Hopefully when I do so, um, it doesn't dry out or wash out, I mean. Um, sorry, um, so I think we're just gonna I mean, it's not bad. It, was very, it got very washed out while I was in the dryer. Um, my advice, if I were to do it again, I would probably put it outside to let it hang dry. Um, it's more of an ombre kind of shirt now, um, but overall, I kind of like it, I dig it. So thank you for watching this video. And like I always say, we'll be back another video.